Art in Lafayette, where the General Mouton statue is now in a new location. The United Daughters of the Confederacy chose the new spot, which has not been disclosed. The decision is part of the settlement in the lawsuit over the monument between the UDC and the City of Lafayette. Leaders in government and faith showed up for the removal. Photojournalist photo Justin Taro was there as the monument came down. When we have symbols like this statue designed to divide us and no one is objecting, that was a painful feeling. Personally, this statue symbolizes division, racism. What it means is they get reminded day after day of enslavement. It, it instilled sorrow and disgust, a feeling of how much farther we have to go as a people in order to really appreciate what it means to be one city, one state, and one nation. And so with it gone, they don't have to have that reminder. And it's really beautiful to see our community like work together and take it down. It's going to help bring about healing. Um, my hope would be that there'll be some peace in their heart, that they don't have to see that anymore and pass by it. And there can be a, a healing that happens between all of us and that it will help build the community. When I don't see that statue anymore, my heart is going to be so filled with joy, I might uh, just sit down and, and, and say a prayer in, in thankfulness to our Lord for giving us the strength, giving us the wisdom, giving us the ability to actually place that statue in, in a location where it serves its best interest. I hope it will bring us together, not drive us apart. You know, I hope that that no matter what our differences, skin color, race, creed, sexual orientation, we can learn to love one another and embrace one another and respect one another, you know, and share ideas about how we could be a better community, how we could be better individuals, you know, better people for the city of Lafayette.